Yeah, we're sharing this Columbia morning, Wednesday, uh, October the uh, 13th, at News Talk 1400, KFRU. It's time for another one of these Schiffman Lectures in Religious Studies, and we have Dr. Anthony Alioto here from Columbia College to talk about that, and uh, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow, right. How are you doing? 11 o'clock in the morning. What are you looking forward to with this one tomorrow? Well, uh, Dr. James Austin is coming. Uh, Dr. Austin's a neurologist and MD and also a Zen practitioner, and he was one of the pioneers in in looking at the uh, effects of uh, the brain of uh, meditation. And uh, I, I think in Zen in the Brain, one of his books, he's got four books, um, he, um, he, talks, he, he talks a great deal about his own training as a, in, uh, in Japan, at, in Kyoto. And so not only is he a researcher, but also he's a practitioner, and he's got a lot to say about the experience of Zen meditation. Well, I think many years ago I talked to him. Uh, I, I think one of the, or at least I saw his book, and it, it's fascinating. So when he talks about this, is he giving tips on how to meditate properly, the proper way of doing this? Sure. He'll, uh, uh, you know, it's, an, it's a 50-minute lecture, 55-minute lecture, including questions. So he's going to have to telescope a lot of things in there. But this is one of the uh, issues, one of the um, uh, ideas that he'll be uh, talking about is the the purpose of meditation. The uh, the whole idea of Buddhism, by the way, was was it wasn't really a religion as much as it was a way of life, a way of escaping or or let's say um, uh, dealing with the suffering in the world. You um, you're a professor of religion at Columbia College. Right. I don't know all the exact uh, titles. I, I, for, I forget too. You know, when, <laughs> but, when you meditate, you, you empty know, your mind. You're on and it sabbatical. Stays empty. Yeah. You're on sabbatical <laughs> this yeah. semester, anyway. Yeah. Right. But I'm I'm curious because you know that most people who might show up at this lecture, many people who might hear of this this morning, are thinking, "Well, I'm Christian. This doesn't have anything to do with me." What would your response be with the meditation idea? A brief introduction to Zen, mm-hmm. neuroscience, and meditating selflessly. How might that be applied to those who say, well, Zen, I'm not going to convert to anything other than I'm just a Christian? Well, there's a long tradition of, um, I, I, I would call it meditation uh, in, uh, in Christianity uh, that goes back into the early church fathers, especially Orthodox Christianity, uh, many of the monks, many of the uh, mystics. And in fact, one of the great um, theologians of the Catholic Church is St. Thomas Aquinas. Um, supposedly, and this has been debated, but supposedly he had a mystical experience in which, in fact, the self goes away and, and, and there's this, you know, this emptiness and, and the deity uh, God uh, uh, enters. And he said that, that that mystical experience, and this is what we call it in the West, uh, was more important to him than all his his writings combined hmm. it's the difference between thinking about religion and actually experiencing it experiencing it on a, on a deep level and to do that there's a sense of of getting rid of the self of putting the self aside because the self often gets in the way the i wants the i am the i wishes that's that needs to be put aside I'm looking really at the experience. I'm looking at the list of people who have done the Schiffman Lecture in Religious right. Studies over the last. You've done this since 2002. One, two, right, three, this is the tenth. Tenth right. one. Um, what a variety you have. Yeah. What's, the, what's the thought through scheduling the the speakers that you schedule for this lecture? Well, you know, it's religious studies, and, and my view of it is, is very broad, uh, and so I, I try to uh, uh, cover as much as possible. And I know if you look at that list, we haven't had any of the Eastern religions uh, mm-hmm. uh, represented. It's hard to call Eastern, and especially in India, a religion. The word is not used. It's really, uh, in Sanskrit, it's called darshana, which means a kind of viewpoint. So mm. it's a viewpoint in how to live, uh, a viewpoint in, um, in existence itself. Uh, Do you find that during these lectures that there's a good mixture of the students at Columbia College and people from the community that yeah, show up also? Yeah, right, yeah. Mm. Uh, and it's open to the community. We, we Of course, our, our, our desire, Mr. Schiffman's desire was to... Um, uh, for the students of Columbia College to to be introduced to these uh, uh, scholars and uh, and people, um, and and yet we also try to include the community. We feel that this is a, a community event as well, and it is. And I want to underline this: free and open to the public. And what time is it again? It's at eleven on uh, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning at Lahner Auditorium, Auditorium, you know where that is on the campus of uh, Columbia College, and it will be Dr. James 
Austin. Have you communicated with him? Has oh yeah. His, yeah. I wonder. I've, I've known I've known Doctor Austin for a while. Has, for many prior years. to him coming, he has expressed. Uh, I've I wonder when you're thinking. You always uh, I think of Zen meditation as moving kind of deliberately in this less than frantic pace that many of us get tied up into. And that's um, that's part of it, certainly. Mm. Uh, first of all, you know, Zen it, it is really a Japanese translation of a Chinese word Chan, which is a translation of an Indian word Dhyana, which simply means meditation <laughs> and really it it, it 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 means to put aside in a, in a sense many of the habit energies that we have that we constantly are are using to in, to uh, experience the world and to experience the world more in its own terms without the self of course you can't explain zen don't forget this uh, it's it's the thing that, that must be experienced rather than uh, zen masters will just laugh at you if you ask what is zen you don't, <laughs> they'll point at the moon or they'll say uh, uh, last year i was in kyoto um, huh. to, to, to break you out of your conventional way of thinking so that the self suddenly is put aside and experience is, is more um, vital. Mm. We're living right now because well, that's exactly where we live, right in the present. Well, listeners, if you, uh, if you go to this lecture tomorrow, you'll be introduced to that thought and you'll be introduced into what uh, Dr. Alioto has just talked about. And that will be from Dr. James Austin, who will be the uh, Schiffman Religious Studies lecturer tomorrow at 11 o'clock in Lawner Auditorium. You'll say it lasts about an hour. And it's free. Just about, right. About an hour. Mm-hmm. Free and, and open to the public. And, and his books will be on sale there, so. It's good if to talk interested. to you again. I it's hope good you have to be a good here. crowd Thank on you, that. that. That's it's interesting. Uh, and again, that is the Schiffman Lecture in Religious Studies tomorrow with Dr. James Austin. Right. Dr. Anthony Alioto has been our guest from Columbia College. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's News Talk 1400 KFRU.